Characteristics In the beginning, they left the shelter for an explored vastness. With Emperor's shelter, they started to master the earth and tame the herds. Agriculture domesticated them, temporary shelter to grew roots, and became architecture. Work became tradable and specialized, they separated from work. Time passed. Industrial technology specialized work. Life became more than survival, there was more time for play. The people were to live, to live life after work. Life was after work. Time passed. Jobs moved into the office. Each man became a cog in the machine. Offices were like factories. And this open space was redesigned into office landscape. It was a space designed for collaboration. Action office created modular, mobile, and private workstations. Individual human performers could control space. Personality tests promised perfect fits to enhance performance and productivity. But defining personalities was more predictive than performative. Open offices became grids of monotonous gray cubes. Privacy became claustrophobic. They worked 9 to 5 to live. Life was after work. Technology changed work again. Wireless freed the worker from the corporate cubicle. Wireless workers worked from home or even coffee shops. Culture changed. Behavior changed. The smartphone became an extension of the user, the most useful appendage. Body modifications were subtle, like a simple watch to continuously monitor fitness. It was healthy, like an apple a day. Office culture changed. The office became a destination, a destination like Disneyland. The office was fun. Work could have meaning and purpose. Work could be life. Work was play. The office was an ever-expanding idea of lifestyle. Then, it happened, it started as a destination, but it expanded, the grid redefined life and work, expanding, and allowing movement and growth. People could travel in their personalized cubicles, the grid expanded to allow the cubes to move, eroding the old world, and forging a new global infrastructure. Corporate competition was eliminated when Google mapped the Earth, the nations of the world strained and stretched to hold on to their borders. With continuous movement blizzard borders, the cubes didn't care for borders, the grid was everything. The nation state was another lost icon, the grid was the new reality, the reality of continuous movement. The grid was the infinite source of playwork, work life, life for style.